There are tens of millions of different kinds of animals. The sizes, shapes, patterns and behaviours of animals vary enormously across the world. But the animals we find in the world are not all the animals we can imagine. How can we explain the diversity of animals we find in the world, and why do we find these animals and not others? We are working on these questions by studying a diverse family of butterflies from South America called the Heliconius butterflies. These dazzling creatures have in fact been of interest to evolutionary biologists for over 150 years. In 1848, Henry Walter Bates and his good friend Alfred Russell Wallace set sail on an epic voyage for the Amazon. They both spent many years in the jungles of the Amazon basin, studying the plants and the animals they found. And their studies really contributed to our understanding of evolutionary biology and natural history, right at the time when Darwin was writing his book, The Origin of Species. Henry Walter Bates was particularly interested in the butterflies. He observed that very distantly related butterfly species had very similar wing patterns, so similar in fact they were extremely difficult to uh, distinguish. He also documented uh, very closely related populations of what we would now consider the same species that had very different appearances. And then in between these different populations he observed areas where there were intermediates, where there were many butterflies that seemed to form a continuous link between these two different forms. This got Charles Darwin very excited because it seemed to provide direct support for his idea that new species could arise through gradual evolution. Neither Bates nor Darwin could explain how the Heliconius wing patterns are formed and what determines the differences between them. For the past 150 years, biologists have been working with these butterflies, studying how genes control elements of the wing patterns. We now know that a small number of wing patterning genes control different parts of the wing patterns, and pattern diversity between species and populations is generated by combining different variants of these genes.